Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from mathematics subject, lines and angles topic we are going to continue. Let us uh, start uh, level 2 questions children. <coughs> level 1 questions already we have completed in our previous videos. So now let us uh, start level 2 questions today. Fifty second question children. The diagram below, the diagram below is not drawn to scale, just uh, approximate measurements we have to take. AB is parallel to CD, this AB is parallel to CD and AF is parallel to BD, this AF is parallel to BD. Then what about angle AFC? Angle AFC. We have to find the va value of angle AFC. So let us do a small construction here children. Let us do a small construction here. Through F draw another line which is parallel to CD means indirectly it is it will also be parallel to AB. It will also be parallel to AB. Like this we have to draw a parallel line. Now if you observe this uh, AB and this construction line, this line, this AF line and BD line are parallel lines and this construction line is the transversal or this AB is the transversal. So this 112 degrees and angle at A will make a uh, co-interior angle pair whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. So this 112 degrees and this angle formed at A, both of them will make co-interior angle pair whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. If it is 112 means it will be around 68 degrees. It will be 68 degrees. So now this line, this construction line and the AB line are parallel. AF is the transversal. So, this 68 degrees below the transversal, right hand side of the transversal. Uh, here, left hand side of the transversal, this angle will make alternate angles pair. They will be equal. So, this part, this part equal to 68 degrees. And uh, CD line and this construction line are parallel. CF is the transversal this side angle right side angle is 58 so transfer the left side angle also will become 58 because they will make alternate angle pair so this will be equal to 58 now we have to find angle afc a f c means angle formed at f which is a sum of 58 and 68 8 plus 8 16 one will be remaining 5 plus 6, 11 plus 1, 12. So, 126. Option B, 126 degrees is the answer. <coughs> Next one, 53. In the figure, not drawn to scale, ABCD is a trapezium and AD is parallel to BC. JDK, JCI, EFB are straight parallel lines find x and y so here they have given that the figure a b c d is a trapezium that hint they have given with the ad parallel to bc this ad side of the trapezium parallel to bc side and uh, this uh, jdk J, D, K, G, H, C, I, A, B, F. Suppose here, here E is there. Then E, A, B, F. These three, J, D, K, G, H, C, K, C, I, E, A, B, F. These three are the straight and parallel lines. So now, <coughs> find X minus Y. First, we have to find X value. Then we have to find y value. After that, we have to find the difference. 
So, according to uh, concepts what we have learnt, according to concepts what we have learnt, uh, let us uh, solve this uh, <coughs> x and y values. So, here this JD line is parallel to this uh, GH line. So, this x degrees angle and this above angle will make a co interior angle pair whose sum is equal to 180 degrees, whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. So, that is one hint, one hint, this angle they have given 66 degrees. If this angle is 66, this corresponding angle will be 66. If this corresponding angle is 66, this corresponding angle will also be 66. If this is 66 degrees, because this uh, these two are parallel lines, this is the transversal. These two will make a corresponding angle square which are equal. This will be 66, and uh, um, these two lines are parallel, and this is the transversal. These two are corresponding angles, and this x and 66 will make a linear pair because they are uh, uh, standing on the same straight line at the same vertex. So, they will make a linear pair. So, their sum is 180 degrees. If uh, it is 66, then x value will be, so x value will be 114, 114 degrees. So, again this angle and this angle co interior angle pair, these two sum will make, these two sum will make 180 degrees. So, if this is 114, this will be 66 or we can take alternate angle concept. If this is 66, above angle will be 66. Next, uh, this 66 degrees, y degrees and 48 degrees, they are lying on the same straight line at point D, at vertex D. So, they will form a straight angle, when their sum will be equal to 180 degrees, uh, 66 plus y plus 48, 66 plus y plus 48 equal to 180 degrees, 66 plus 48 equal to 6 plus 8, 14, 6 plus 4, 10, 114 equal to 180, 180, uh, 114 plus y equal to 180, then y equal to 180 minus 114 degrees which is equal to 66 degrees. So, option B is right. Next, 54 percent. In the adjo adjoining figure, the value of angle AOC, if uh, AOB is a straight line is how much? So, AOB is a straight line, we have to find the angle of AOC. We have to find the angle of AOC. This uh, this angle 3x plus y deg 5 degrees and 2x minus 25 degrees will make a, a straight angle because they are lying on the same straight line and at the same vertex. So, if we add both of them, the sum will be equal to 18 degrees 3x plus 2x 5x uh, plus 5 minus 25 minus 20 equal to 180 degrees or 5x equal to 180 plus 20 which is equal to 200 degrees or x equal to 200 by 5 which is equal to 40 degrees. Option A is right. Next, 55 question. If an angle is its own complementary angle, then its measure is what? If the angle is its own complementary angle, then its measure is what? Means one angle and its complementary both are same. So, their sum will be equal to 90 degrees. If the angle is x, its complementary also x. Both the sum is equal to 90 degrees. x plus x equal to 90 degrees. 2x equal to 90 degrees. So, x equal to 45 degrees x equal to 45 degrees. 
So option B is right. Next, 56 question. Which of the following is false? Which of the following is false? We have two straight lines intersecting at common point and we got four angles. 1, 2, 3, 4. We got four angles. Now, which of the following statement is false? 4, 3 are vertically opposite angles. 1, 2 are vertically opposite angles. 1 equal to 2, right? And 1, 3 are lying on same straight line. Their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Correct. B option true. 1, 4 are not same. They are not vertically opposite angles. 1 equal to 4 is the false option. This is true. This is true. 3 equal to 4 is true. They are asking about false statement. So option C is right. Because 1 is not equal to 4. Next, 57 question. The angle between two hands of a clock at 4.30 p.m. is? The angle between the two hands of a clock at 4.30 p.m. is? So we have, if we take a clock, we will be having the hands of clock like this, 12, 3, 6, 9, between them 1, 2, between them 4, 5, between them 7, 8, between them 10, 11, like that we will be having. So now, uh, 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. means the hour's hand should be at uh, 4 o'clock, sorry, not exactly at 4 o'clock, because it is uh, uh, 4.30, no, that's why half past 4, means it should be somewhere midway between, midway between 4 and 5, midway between 4 and 5, this is the hour's hand, and 30, 30 minutes means the minute's hand should be at 6. Minute's hand should be at 6. Now, they are asking, what is the angle? What is the angle? What is the angle? What is the angle means how to tell children? Because total, total, so here children, um, if you take, uh, first let measure the angle moved, moved by a hour's hand and a minute's hand in one minute so that we can calculate this. So total one complete revolution equal to 360 degrees. So the hour's hand, the hour's hand in 12 hours it will make one complete rotation. So, it will make 360 degrees. In one hour, 360 degrees by 12. Means, it can rotate 30 degrees in one hour. But one hour equals to 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, it can rotate 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Uh, but in one minute, it can rotate 30 degrees by 60, which is equal to 30 by 60 means half degree. So, the hour's hand, the hour's hand in one minute, it can rotate half degree. It can only rotate half degree, half degree. That is one we have to keep in mind the hour's hand in one minute it can rotate only half degree that is one thing and if you take minutes hand minutes hand so in 60 minutes in 60 minutes it can make one complete rotation 360 degrees so in one minute 360 degrees by 60, which is equal to 6 degrees. So, minutes hand 
in one minute it can make an angle of six degrees make an angle of six degrees so now uh, we have we have to find the their um, angle between 430 at 430 between the hands so now how to find means first let us uh, see at four o'clock If we take the time as four o'clock, so twelve, three, six, nine, four. Ah, uh, here only. A four at four o'clock. At four o'clock, a uh, minute's hand will be at twelve, and hour's hand will be at four. Hour's hand will be at four. So, the hour's hand. If we check from twelve, this twelve number, the hours hand already it is at four means already it is at an angle of how much? So twelve to one, twelve to one, thirty degrees, sixty degrees, ninety degrees, one twenty degrees. The hours hand, the hours hand, the hours hand already it is at one twenty degrees, one twenty degrees. Plus, in this half an hour time, in this thirty minutes time, in four hours time, it will be making an angle of one twenty degrees. But we have four thirty p.m. In half an hour time, in thirty minutes angle, how much the time? How much angle it will make means? In one minute, it will make half degree angle. In thirty minutes, thirty into half means fifteen degrees. So it is making an angle of. One thirty-five degrees uh, in four hours thirty minutes. Okay, but the minutes hand it is at twelve. Um, by four thirty p.m. it will be at six. Means from twelve, it is almost rotating up to six. So this will make one complete straight angle, not complete angle, straight angle. Means in uh, One minute, minutes hand. Uh, in one minute, it will make six degrees angle. So, four thirty p.m. means at four o'clock it will be at third uh, twelve. Uh, in thirty minutes, it will come to six. Means thirty into six, one eighty degrees. So, minutes hand is making an angle of one eighty degrees. But when we, uh, if we want to find the angle between them. Minutes hand is ahead of hours hand, so this is this part is one thirty five degrees, and this total part is one eighty one eighty degrees. We want to find the middle part, only between this four and six, between the hands of clock we have to find the angle. So one eighty minus one thirty five we have to subtract. So the answer will be forty five degrees. So the answer is forty-five degrees Kelvin. Next Kelvin. So in the given figure, L is parallel to M, P is parallel to Q. L is parallel to M, P is parallel to Q. So using the given information, like sixty-five uh, degrees angle or ABCD angles, with that information, find the following answers: angle A plus angle B plus angle C minus angle D. How much? Minus angle D. How much? So here we have uh, A is parallel to L is parallel to M, P is parallel to Q, and they have given 65 degrees angle here. So this will form a parallelogram. Inside the parallelogram, in the interior part, we have a, we are having A, B, C, D four angles. The sum of four angles in a quadrilateral. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C and angle D, their sum will be 360 degrees. But we have to find angle A plus angle B plus angle C minus angle D. We have to find minus angle D value. Means D value we have to find first. D value we have to find first. So how to find D? So this one, 
this one and this angle will be corresponding angles because these two lines are parallel lines this is the transversal this 65 degrees this 65 degrees will be corresponding angles so then d and 65 or d and 65 or will make a straight angle pay so d will be 115 degrees and uh, c and d co interior angles so c will be 65 degrees c and b co interior angles 115 degrees b and a co interior angles 65 degrees like that we can find all the angles <coughs> angle a how much 65 angle b 115 angle c 65 minus angle d 115 we have to find this value so 115 115 cancel 65 plus 65 130 degrees so option d is right no need of this uh, hint children so directly with the corresponding angles with the co interior angles concept we can find make sure in the figure not down to scale a b c d is a quadrilateral um, b e d b e d is a straight line a e c is a straight line and uh, e b e b equal to e c this part this part they are equal find y so this is y find y we have to find y y angle So they have gone this angle, this angle equal, this angle, this angle equal. So if uh, this angle B is EC angle and the EB angle are equal, equal. So then opposite angles also will become equal. So this side opposite 62, this side opposite also angle will become 62 degrees. So this angle also will become 62 degrees. So, CE, EB are equal, they have given and BC equal to BC common side and angle B equal to angle C uh, opposite angles to the same side equal sides. So, according to S, A, S property these two are congruent, these two are congruent, these two triangles are congruent. And, if, and the sum of three angles is 180 degrees. If this is 62, this is 62. 62 plus 62, 134. So, angle E will be 180 minus 134, which is equal to 46 degrees. So, angle E will be 46 degrees. So, this angle will be, as they make vertically opposite angles, this angle also will be equal to 46 degrees this angle also equal to 46 degrees. So then what about this angle y which is at angle a. So 180 minus 38 minus 46. So 180 minus 38 minus 46 how much? 8 plus 6 14, 3 plus 4 7 plus 1 8. 180 minus 84 which is equal to 96. One eighty sixty two sixty two. Sorry, children. It is one twenty four. It is fifty six degrees. Fifty six degrees. Ninety four. And the answer is eighty six degrees. Eighty six degrees is the angle of Y. So, okay, children. Remaining questions we can complete in our next video. Thank you for watching our video, children. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you, children. Have a good day.